Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody. Well, um, just working on my Final Fantasy XIV blog post, and um, I'm I'm at a point where we're typing it down where I thought it'd be uh, thought it'd be a good idea to go ahead and do kind of a kind of a quick tutorial on the um on how the PvP works in this game. In fact, let me um call the Butcher of Circus. Let me go ahead and take you there now. Now, during this time, like usual, I'm going to be having some music in the background, um, which is just going to be all reliable, uh, all the same. I, it's mostly acoustic music. I often have this playing in my other videos. It's uh, it's free to use, and it's also some the pretty good stuff. The campaign can wait. For now, carnage calls. So, so let me go ahead and get that fired up. So yeah, once again, um, this is the Butcher Circus. Uh, this is going to be uh, this is going to be uh, the PvP portion of Darkest Dungeon. So, and then um, I don't I don't want to go into the to an actual PvP battle as as dumb as that might sound because I don't want to wait. So. What I'm going to go ahead and do, or here, let me, like, um, I, this isn't, this is kind of different from, uh, Final Fantasy XIV, where you already, once you level up, you automatically get your abilities. In this game here, you can, you can, you can select up to four abilities to take with you to battle. And you can also select um, you can also select which um, up to two trinkets. You can select two trinkets to take with you. And then um, I'll try to I'll try to do this fairly quickly. Um, again, I'm, I'm mostly doing this for my uh, for my for my lodestone block. Again, it's gonna be easier to just show a tutorial video than to have to sit here and type out a whole bunch of walls of text trying to explain to people how, how this job, uh, how this game works. So, anyway. Max HP. Kind of, kind of obvious there. That's your maximum health. Um, accuracy. Uh, what this accuracy, that, as, as the name implies, is, uh, how often you hit. And then, um, in battle, accuracy is checked against dodge. And these numbers are percentage, are percentages. Like your base accuracy, we'll go with this ability here. Accuracy base 110. That means this this ability has a has a 110 percent chance of hitting. But again, you might be wondering why is it over 100 percent? Well, that's because dodge rating comes into play. So. If you do some math here, 110, and the accuracy mod here is 122, and then your opponents are going to have a dodge rating. This this number is going to get subtracted from your accuracy. So, and then crit, obvious, uh, prot, basically uh, damage reduction, and then and then your base damage. Over here, your resistances. They kind of work the same way as Dodge does. I'm okay. I'm really hoping you're able to see this, but um, uh, this ability here, Bellow, um, is a debuff target. It's a uh, again base 100% chance minus whatever minus the appropriate resistance. Where again, in this case here. Uh, it debuffs the target, but it's got to be checked against their resistance here. Now, this is my rating, not there. It's just I'm just trying to give you a rough idea. So you subtract 40 from a harder, which is basically a 60% chance that they're, that they're actually going to get hit with this. And then again, I'm hoping you're able to see the tool tips. The um. This dark, darkest dungeon is a 
It's a four off. It's a four player party or a. All right, what, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? It's a four character party. So if you could uh, on the left side, if you can see the white dots, this is um uh, that tells you where you can use this ability. Like the rampart here, I can use it in the uh, in the three positions except for the one on the far left. And then he's the red dots on the right. Those are the places that I can target. So again, left side, it's uh where I can use it. Right side is who I could use it on. So and then on this ability here, when you see that the red dots are connected, that means this ability here is an AoE skill. That means, in the in this case here, it's going to hit the entire group. And then, then you got some here. They uh, they'll bump your whole party. Same thing here. Some of these have a one-time use, but. Just to give you a general idea. And then, um, most of these I'm not going to go into too much on, but, you know, then you got this ability here. You can use it from anywhere, and you can use it on, you can use it on anyone, any area. So... Yeah, there is healing in this game. So, but anyway, um, and then again, I'm I'm not gonna go into an actual PVP battle because you still have to you're you're gonna get put in a queue and you you have to wait until there's an actual match available. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do instead, I'm just gonna do a practice one. to the spilling of blood. One of my all-time favorite voice actors, Wayne June. The advantage is yours. Okay, so the goal in this game the is to either A, begins. get their HP to zero, or get their stress to 200. So I'll go ahead and start with and then I'm going to buff the whole party. Okay. And um, what you're about to see here is she just got pulled forward. If you can see towards the lower right where it says pull two, that's what that means. She's got to pull a target two spaces forward. So. Eh, let's use one of my own. And I'm going to pull. And again, you see our, if you see our move resistance, 50% down at the bottom. That's going to get checked against this. The base chance is 100%. So. 50% chance that she's going to get yanked forward. Nope. Didn't work. Gnawing uncertainty. The birthplace of dread. But again, again, the goal is to get their HP to zero or get their stress to 200. But unlike other games, um, once your health hits zero, you don't die immediately. From there on after, as long as your health remains at zero, Anything that deals damage will have a chance to kill you then. So. This ability here. It's going to cast Blight. And, and also uh, cause stress on the entire group. The white symbol you saw. That's an increase in stress. See, 8 of 200. And then you can also see here, 
You hover over all these, two damage for three rounds. Uh, plus 15 dodge until the end of round one. Same thing, this hits all of them. It, it's gonna, it's gonna inflict a bleed, it's gonna inflict bleed, damage over time, as well as causing stress. A decisive pummeling. I think I touched on this earlier, but Repost, whenever any, whenever he gets attacked by anything that deals damage, it doesn't have to actually hit him, but it'll, it'll, it'll cause him to counterattack. So, pretty nasty ability there. This ability here, you see forward one, that means it's going to advance a one, and because he's a tank. I'll go ahead and use it on him. That's fine. Daze. That means he's going to act last in his team. And he's going to get yanked forward. Okay. Restoration. This is going to heal everybody over time. Couple debuffs and stress them. Just like that. A little late. And stunned. When you're stunned, you basically you lose your next turn. And I'll do the same thing here. Just gonna put bleed on everybody. Hopefully it hits might miss him. If you look at the lower right corner, hit chance, crit chance and all that, 80%, 87% chance to miss. I mean hit. And he got counter attack. Um, I'll, I'll wait till it's my turn. And then, when stress reaches a hundred, they'll get what, they'll get a random affliction, some type of uh, insanity, like uh, paranoia, selfishness, that kind of thing. But you'll see here in a second. I'm gonna move him forward. Got lucky. And again. Precision and power. Oh, somebody created back there. And here we go. Death's door. His health is now zero, so. Alright, here we go. Stress at a hundred. The walls close in. The shadows whisper of conspiracy. Okay, heal them up. Uh, let me go to her real quick. Okay, so it doesn't. Get ready any debuffs. And then because everybody here is fairly close, or getting close to getting uh, 100 stress, I'm gonna start with him this time. And then, gonna hit Bello. Okay, uh, maybe not. There's gonna be a chance, there's, a, there's gonna be a chance to miss. So, I'm gonna cast this instead. Increases everybody's accuracy by 20. Inspiration and improvement. Alright, 
So... So, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing here. As with the Hound Master, this is pretty much the ability I use the most. Death Door. type of damage when their health is zero has a chance of killing them and it, even even from damage over time so, so I gotta think here um Someone. Yeah, I'll take the dodge off of him. Press Kill them. Advantage. Give them no quarter. So, like a musketeer is at death's door again. Anything that deals damage, well, she's got to she's got to heal herself. But you get the idea. And because she was stunned, she loses her next turn. So. Self-preservation is paramount, at any cost. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. And then, this here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cast regen on everybody. And, uh, and death's door recovery. Now, when it, when you're at death's door like this, any kind of um, any kind of healing will take you out of it. See, she's out. She recovered from death's door. He recovered from it, and he has one single health left. Like I said, as long as you're, as long as you have at least one point, one hit point, you're out of death's door. So, as life ebbs, so terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. What that means? No, what that means is you don't, you don't have to keep them topped off full health at all times. Just enough to where they're above one hit point. So, big, big time healing, like what this guy has. So, like I said, big time healing, like what this guy has. Zero to twenty-four. You only want to really use it when somebody is at death star. But as you can see here, nobody. So. Let's see who has dodge. 25, 20. Okay, so. Oh. And then, um, like I, like I said a long time ago, when, um, just, if you can get their stress to 200, it basically acts as though they're at zero health. They're at death's door. But this time around, it'll be called heart attack. So. That should put him at heart attack. Boom, down he goes. So you, you kind of see how this works here. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. And 
this is something else too. I totally forgot to mention this, but whenever, when your stress hits 100 and you get some kind of insanity, um, it'll sometimes make you do random stuff. Um, like sometimes you'll even, you'll, you'll move forward in the lineup or you'll move back. Um, sometimes you'll actually damage yourself or sometimes you'll just completely pass your turn. And it's really rare, but sometimes you'll even attack one of your own party members. So that's why um, getting their stress to 100 is fairly important. Because it can really throw off their game plan. So I'm gonna go with her. You need. Okay, it hit. He just passed, so that means I get a free turn. So, all right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast this on probably whoever has ten. Okay, you gotta cast it on him. That's what I'm hoping for. Clear the corpses out. I'm becoming unwound. Building up that stress. Death door. So. That was a heart attack. He might. He's gone. The maniacal cheering swells. Victory is at hand. Oh, that shuffled him. Here, let's see what Buckshot does. Moves her back one and knocks two of my front guys back one. So. Um, then. Now, normally this is a very weak ability. But with this item here. Whenever you whenever you uh, hit with a melee attack, it'll inflict blight on them. It's damage over time, which is what I'm gonna do here. That should Yep. And uh, again, when they're dazed, that means they act last. Slot. Destroy them all. A cacophony of bloodthirsty delight. Praise well earned. Okay, but you don't because this was just a this is just a practice run, you don't get any uh, prestige or anything. Um every time you level up, you'll um you'll have access to more uh, to more trinkets. More uh more and more powerful. That's one of the reasons why I get my ass kicked so much on here. Um, the matchmaking in this game is, a is actually pretty bad. Because, um... It'll... Or I think, um... I think, um, right now I'm ranked novice one. But it'll act... I think, um... It's actually paired me up against people way above me, like around veteran. I don't think I've ever seen any uh, darkest ranking ones, like way over here, the top ranked ones. But uh, I've seen seen a few of these. I've seen um, I've seen a few of these as well. I mean, to be fair, the majority of what I'm up against are other novices. But again, I've been paired up with these guys, and I've even been paired up against uh, veterans as well. So they'll they'll hand me my ass in a high hat. Uh, 
okay so um like i said i just want to do a do a little demo on that um but again this tutorial was mostly meant for uh people that check out my final fantasy 14 blog post so i'm just it just again it was just easier to to make a video about it than have to sit here and type down all these walls of text for them so this is going to save me a lot of time right here so but Otherwise, well, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.